Yeah, right now with both the ability to deliver cross-screen ad experiences, which go hand in hand with delivering cross-screen media experiences for consumers, that fragmentation means that fundamentally we have to rethink how we look at structuring um, audiences, the identity that needs to support those audiences, the privacy that is inherent when you're creating first party data. And then that gives you the building blocks to be able to actually activate a campaign across screens. And then the hottest topic right now, of course, is measurement. And you have to rethink measurement, right? You're, you're moving away from siloed measurement to something that's holistic and going beyond age and gender. So all of that requires a lot of coordination. So Jay, just walk it back a little bit. How LiRAMP, you know, manages uh, measurement. It's not known necessarily as measurement, uh, but it's part. It's a big part of the mix. You know, tell us a little bit more about how that works and why it matters. Yeah, measurement has long been a part of the data services that LiveRamp provides the industry. And it's moved from what would be considered just moving files from one party to another in a data safe way so that you can use data for measurement to the platform Data Plus Math, which does cross screen measurement and attribution to what we're doing now in the cloud, which is to enable real time identity translation within clean rooms so that exposure data from media companies along with brand data around who customers are and what they're buying can all be collaborated on so that you can actually really create modern full funnel measurement. And that's really with, but what we've been trying to focus our innovation on. That's awesome. And who are the, uh, how do you see that fitting into the ecosystems? Who will be your clients, uh, current clients, new clients? Yeah, we, I mean, we provide identity endpoints for pretty much most of the industry. Uh, I believe we have something along the lines of 550 endpoints just in the US where we maintain identity supported by our graph. And so that way, one party that wants to partner with another party, we can help make that happen without data having to move. And that is a, a really important aspect of how all of this is going to continue to matriculate in terms of how modern measurement works. The industry is also preparing for the fact that there is going to be new privacy regulation coming in the next two years. So you want to be ahead of the curve on that, right? You can't just be handling, for example, IP address alone. That, uh, that doesn't qualify necessarily as privacy safe. In the same way that a lot of measurement relies on pixels today, pixels are also likely not to be supported in the next few years. So what do you have to do? You have to prepare by creating more first party data and you have to be prepared to operate in these uh, clean room and collaboration environments where exposure data, viewing data, sales data, customer data can all be used safely without anyone actually getting access to anyone else's data. And of course, behind that, you're, you're really working with all the consent that's required for people to actually have customers know what, their, uh, what data is being collected and how that data is being used. And then they get to judge for themselves on what that value exchange is. What am I getting in return for paying with my attention? 